Alright. Hello. I am currently creating an awesome game. I'm gonna show you that now. Here we are. Um it has models, that's a model, a bookshelf with a texture. Um and it also supports plain surface creation and texturing. So, for example, um, oh crap! Err, uh, where? Oh uh, wait, nope. Here we are. All right. So this is the editor. Well, it's gonna be the editor. Um, um, and well, you know, I load the texture I wish to use for the plane, maybe. And then I'm just gonna. Well, this doesn't really work. So. I'm gonna show you the editor that actually works. Uh, right now it's done in C++ and still, as you can see, here are ground, uh, the ground, and it tells me that you know I have no texture right now. I can also make um, um, straight lines, not no diagonal or anything like that. And pretty much what this lets me do is creating easy. It, it creates maps, and each plane is a ray with a start position and end position. And it, well, it the engine pretty much takes this start start x and start start uh, z and start and end x and end z and it creates a simple plane out of it and this just tells it that what texture to use so I, yeah nothing more not so great right now oh, well yeah i think it's great but probably doesn't look very nice but I have models. <laughs> it's awesome. I can create them in Blender and texture map them and all that. And I can just import it into my engine. And trees, they are just created by two planes and the texture. So, <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna. Well, the point of this movie or well, film or video is to see how far I get at the end of the night. So right now it's 11 o'clock p.m. and I'm gonna gonna be up for as late as I can. Hopefully all night, you know. But we'll see, we'll see. So I will I will be back. All right. <coughs> it's now almost two o'clock so I'm gonna show you what I've done so far um, I worked on the editor so you basically just create a new uh, game or whatever and you have to load few textures to use for um, for your surroundings I guess and I'm just gonna load some default <coughs> textures then I'm gonna bind the floor I'm gonna create a floor then I'm gonna bind some brick walls and create 
Okay. Oh shit. And create some just and walls around my map. Maybe a small square. And then I'm gonna create some trees. And for that, I don't want to repeat the texture because then it would look really weird. So I'm gonna create some trees around the map. And I'm doing them in crosses because that will uh, each line is one face, so it will make it look like a whole tree from all the angles. You will see later what I mean. So here we go, few trees. And there we go. I'm gonna save. Test. Here's the test folder, and just copy. I just have to co copy that and paste it in here, and just run this .jar file. And here we go. You see the trees have been created with the texture as I wanted. <coughs> A wall and collision and all that is working. It's not good, but it's working. And collision to the threes, uh, trees as well. And you see the text on the ground and the wall is different and all that. So it's awesome. I can create <coughs> really nice stuff. And I can actually also change the height of my walls. And well, you know, this is a wall actually just with a transparent texture so I can create uh, change the height of only the trees if I want to or maybe if I create something else and soon I will make sure you can change the Y location of them as well so you can make them further up in the sky so that's what I have been working with so far. I'll be back, maybe. Or maybe I'll go to bed. We'll see. Alright. <coughs> this is the next day. It's almost 2 o'clock in um, AM. And I'm gonna show you the update. So, first, let's create a map And just add some fire so you can see it. And hopefully that will that'll do. I'm gonna save it. Test one. This data folder, all the textures that you used are here, as well as the file. I just I just gave it some strange extension because I think that txt that the TXT extension is boring. And I'm gonna just paste it in. And then play it from Eclipse. And what do we get? Hopefully, something. Ah, here we go! Our trees. 
or fire that is being animated. It's four frames and it's just looped around in all in all ways. So yeah, here's the staircase I was talking about. It's the collision works that so if you hit the ground you will automatic you will um your the player's y position will update to that y position and here's the walls and all that yeah the the texture is a bit stretched out that's because um i recently just added the animation thing and i had to change a few things with the text cor texture coordinates so I'm gonna try and fix that later on but this is awesome I can create whatever I want and you see it looks kinda weird with the with the stairs there but I can easily fix that with just the wall there you know walls that's yeah so it's, it's, I just made something fast but you see I can easily create maps and with gravity so and collision not bulletproof collision or anything but good enough for me so it's two o'clock and we'll see if I get anything more done tonight so later uh, okay.